What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more free run beyond Journey's End. Today we're doing episodes 19 and 20. I am super excited. I'm loving everything that's going on with this first class mage examination arc, whatever you want to call it. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these episodes, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. And we are live on Twitch watching these all the time. So make sure to come give a like. Come follow is what I meant to say. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Free run episode 19. This one's called Well Laid Plans. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 19, Well Laid Plans. Someone already has it in the cage. Oop. You bell and a uh, fern. The hard part still to come. What does that mean? That's something she's very much looking forward to. That is insane to me. They can break the sound barrier. <laughs> They're as tough as dragons. I see. They can also detect mana. That's insane. Okay, what spell might that be? Is it the one you used to capture? Yeah, the bird that was attacking Kane? Her collection of miscellaneous spells is coming in so clutch right now. That was very handy. Like that. Probably has to be some additional factors that are at play. You have to be damn near touching it. How are we gonna get close enough? What are you thinking, girly? If they're not telling us, that means it's gonna work. I'm already intrigued. I'm already intrigued. Learn that from the rain hitting the barrier last episode. I see, I see. Would be gathered around the lake. Yes, absolutely. The almost guaranteed way to catch one of them. We got We got the wolf looking man I only say wolf because he has the gray hair Great defense Fern, no hesitation in attacking her Also no hesitation From her, I'm loving it With the physical combat as well Sharf Ere. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Verbal. It's like I recognize his voice actor. That's John. I can recognize it. Oh my God. That is fucking John. Shout out my AOT people. We got Zeke in the show and John. Freezing the entirety of the lake. Shout out to Lavine. That should severely limit a lot of the mages and the birds. I can only hear John now. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> 
They're trying to melt it as fast as they can to thaw it out. Denkin is intrigues me insanely. That's a good point. That's a good observation. Also a good observation. God damn. Even though Fern's technically in a precarious situation, I love how calm, cool, and collected she is all the time. We have fought demons. She's fought Ainzim, solar dragons, you know. Because of how mana detective the, the birds are. Stile. Good observation. This guy, I really am enjoying this guy so far. Very smart, but also menacing. They said that he won like a civil war or something like that to be an imperial mage, something along those lines. That's what he meant. Their mana detection is inadequate. They're experienced. You will die in this if you're not up to par. This man is very observant. That's how they lure and hunt their next. Ow. Oh. He's like, we are not going to be the same. They only want the strongest of the strong. Denkin means thinking. I love the German translations. It'd only be symbols of power. So he's more symbolic than the actual than the actual presence of power with you. Wow, that's cool. Mm. You have to be able to move people's hearts. Kane is infused all of them with her mana. To force them into the only watering hole that's left without mana infused. That's smart. That is a smart plan from Freerun's team. And they would have never known this if Denkin didn't. And he is on top of it. her mana suppression is so skilled and so far above your average look at how she can she literally can damn near turn it off so she's gonna stand completely still oh. this is actually a very in-depth plan like Denkinson well laid out i'm very interested very invested Shout out to Freewin for being able to hold this pose for so long. Oh. And the other monsters use and wildlife uses mana detection to detect their prey or just people around them. So the fact that that didn't even notice her is kind of insane. Probably been here for hours at this point. Oh my god. It's literally right on her shoulder. And bada boom, bada bing. And we did it. This dude is on top of it. Rira knows how dangerous. Oh my god! The speed! 
All other parties who are invested in this right now. Turning flowers into needles? Doragate. Rock Rebel. I love how every mage specializes in different magic. We do have an old teacher, you know, so. Yeah, it is only basic spells. I would love to get more intricate spells, you know. Okay with this shit talk. Talk your shit, Fern. Little do you know, her teacher is probably the greatest mage you're ever going to see. What is Verbal's technique? How does he fight? With the deductions as well? I love how instead of a staff, he uses more of a wand. Yeah, you might have fought in the remnants of the Demon King's forces. Devoid of character. Oh, I like the way they're putting that. Yubel versus Verbal is quite the combo. Oh, this is going to get interesting. I won't lie. That was such a fast episode. All right, we're on to the next episode. This is 20. Verbal versus Yubel. She looks like she's Sukuna out here just slicing everything. And he's just reflecting it. Magic that cuts through physical objects, yeah. She literally is in Sukuna. So that's what it's limited to. It has a limit because it's so strong. It's very underhanded. Whatever it takes to win. Shout out to Fern. I love how it's enclosing her barrier even closer and closer on herself. Because there's so many attacks. Alright, episode 20. Necessary Killing. I don't know if I like that title. Sorganail? Sorganil. A binding spell? It fucking imposes Hatsu on you on some Hunter Hunter shit? So that's its limit. It has, you have to be with an eyesight of him. As long as he doesn't break the eyesight, it's staying on you. Yubel's been one of the most confident mages we've seen so far. And he released it? He's willing to let her go and live. Use the stele as a distraction. Go right for him. And just like that, she's rebound. Mm. <laughs> that makes sense. See the way he's talking. I don't know if he enjoys killing. He's fought the Demon King's remnants for years. Oh, flashback time. The Northern Magic Corps specializes in fighting demons. Makes sense. War can be a lot different than fighting demons. That's demented. 
It's commonplace in the far north. It is a common practice to send women and children to the front lines to try to weaken the enemy's will. That's insane. その人が得意とする魔法は人生や人間性に大きく関わっていると思っている。相手の動きを封じるこの魔法はまるで殺すまでの猶予を欲しがってるみたいだよ。私で染まっているのにまだ人間でありたいと思っている。Oh, there is a mental aspect to this. He doesn't thoroughly he doesn't actually enjoy the killing, it seems. そうだ。これは殺す覚悟の。Use the time to get himself mentally prepared to kill someone. Interesting. Burn with the clutch. The stalling for time did help. Did she beat the other mage? Yeah. Are we being serious? Did Fern actually kill her? Because that would be gangster. Oh yeah, you do need to have all party members present. So I guess he's technically already out of the running. Oh, that is an interesting development. So she didn't kill Era. We're back to land, fighting Flower Nail Boy. He can turn Flora into metallic objects, it looks like. Often neglect the fundamentals of his own made up spell. He just waits for his opportune moment. He's very observant. Okay, studious man. Can he make clones of himself? Oh, like a mirage. Illusion magic. Literally both what I said. Just like that, you're incapacitated. Since the beginning, you were fighting his illusion. He's been observing the whole time. Wow. You Bill did say Four Eyes was good at pretending. So, Fern <laughs> won the battle of attrition. He kept making her use defense. This is uh, very smart, very well handled. Oh, yeah, there's some there's some evidence of you getting overwhelmed by offensive magic. That's hilarious. I love the scaling in this. How? Hmm, I don't want to pause it. I don't want to pause it. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> that boy Sharf also knocked out. Out cold. So, Verbal versus Fern's team was a great fight. Now I'm very curious about Denkin and them. Now they're going to have to wait three years before taking the test again. <laughs> I like that. Is she there watching him fight one of the Demon King remnants? Wow. Exactly 29 years ago when Himmel died. Yeah, 
<laughs> so he's doing this. He says he calls it an ulterior motive, but it's again for kindness. He wants to so his, his his lady love can come back. That's actually nice. Like old man Vol, you know, once you make a promise that's that deep to you, you know. <laughs> I actually I like their team a lot right now. It's crazy how within ten minutes characters can grow on you, you know. Oh, look at it. You can bind it. And it's bound, just like that. Maybe they will pass. Interesting. As we cut back to Free Run in Denkin's party. Okay. Laufen. What is her magic? What is Denkin's magic? We're just trying to steal. Oh, she either teleports or she's. What the fuck is that? I love the way they animate it. I love how the Proctor's just chilling with a steel right next to him. And you can tell Denkin will be among them. Oh, if Ganao was hyping him up? Jilver. あの子だけシュティレを持って逃げればいい。We would have been able to follow her. Interesting. And he knows her by name. Just because in terms of elf mages, there probably aren't too many. Oh, this is getting hype. This is getting hype. That would be enough to force our party to fail. Oh, this is getting very interesting. What sort of magic does he use? Richter. Richter. It would be wrong killing a mage just for the title versus his political power and whatever else he's fighting for, you know? Yeah, give us more world building. What privilege is being a first class give you? She's an elf. What privileges are those? I love how she's just sitting next to a mountain of grimoires. Any one spell they desire? She's a living grimoire. Makes sense. To the all knowing and all. Oh, oh, now I'm curious. So that's the benefit of being a first class. It's equivalent to having a wish granted. And I love how we get to see the proctors. Ooh. This gets me way more excited. He just, I wonder why he wants to be first class then. Even Ganao doesn't know. Like his staff a lot. Okay. You old fart. Richter is very, a lot darker. What kind of magic does Richter use? Earth control? He's gonna separate the battlefield? Oh, this is sick. Oh my god! 
He's like tough. Oh, I don't know how people could watch this week by week now, man. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Those episodes were absolutely fantastic. Amazing. I'm loving the world building we're getting on mages in general. I'm loving the distinctions between mages and their priorities when it comes to power. Like, I love what Ubel said, how whatever magic you specialize in somewhat reflects deeply you as a person and your nature like how and i love how that contrasts to uh verbal who has the binding which is super underhanded with the sole purpose of winning but he uses it to delay time to get himself mentally prepared to kill because he at heart doesn't want to kill like he said there's some perverts here that enjoy killing and that cuts back to even his reason for being a high class mage in the first place how he wants to rid the demon kind in his area so his lady love when he was four or five years old will come back you know gotta take a quick pause for Rechi with the 10 gifted let's throw some love and w's in chat because that is some huge support thank you so much my friend you're getting so close to that sub goal thank you insanely i cannot thank you enough some some good people who got those subs too thank you insanely my man i appreciate that so so much thank you thank you thank you w mans absolutely w mans all right how to take a quick pause because we got some amazing gifted subs from my man harachi thank you so much um but i love how even there's like there's power scaling when it comes to different levels of magic against magic like there's a sense of like hunter hunter that i get what like you need to be observant you need to be very thoughtful you need to be quick-witted in terms of these fights but there's also power scaling when it comes to certain fundamentals we'll say of magic using how fern is excellent at concealing her mana but also very fast when it comes to using her spells she's has insane control over her spells which comes from only using those spells from the beginning of her magic career like just the basic offensive and defensive which you'd think when it comes to that versus specializing in more advanced magic you think you'd naturally want to go that but if you're a, if you're a master at this like she was able to beat era relatively easily like i love i love that aspect of it she's basic or simple but if you master the basic and simpleness you are you can excel well beyond some of these inadequate advanced mages you know and I love how she said it's like older techniques, like fighting her grandpa because she has one of the oldest teachers in here. And then we get over to Dankin, who is Mr. Observant. And like, there's so much good world building going on, whether it's his political ambitions, whether it's whoever becomes a first class gets to choose one spell, whatever they want to learn from the living grimoire herself, Siri, whatever her name, like, bro, this is getting insane. I'm thoroughly invested, thoroughly loving this. Now I just want to know our free run and fern are going to be both first class what kind of spell are we going to learn knowing free run it's going to be like how to turn red apples into green apples knowing free run what's she going to say when she sees siri another elf like oh this is getting all in depth i am thoroughly enjoying this thoroughly enjoying this hopefully you guys are as well if you are come on over to the twitch as you just saw my man harechi being amazing in here the vibe the chat is always a vibe these these moments are always amazing if you guys want the full uncut versions of these check out that patreon down below don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.